and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Brienne and this is Diary of a Homemaker. Today I thought it would be fun to bring you along for a day in the kitchen as a household that cooks mostly from scratch meals. We're starting off with some biscuits and gravy. This is a staple in our house. Sometimes we eat it for breakfast, sometimes we eat it for dinner. It's just a convenience type food, um, like a almost like a comfort food. And I do want to show you. So these are our biscuits. We are actually, I'm actually showing you this in our next Sunday Kitchen Restock. So if you missed my last Sunday Kitchen Restock, I will go ahead and link that below. But basically we go ahead and prep a large amount of biscuits at one time and then we freeze them. And we have biscuits on hand at our fingertips literally whenever we want biscuits. I think once I grasp the concept of cooking once and enjoying it multiple times, everything changed and it really helped shape the way that I cook and I and the way that we eat. I am just going to go ahead and make a really simple white gravy. If you have never made gravy before, it is so simple. All you need is a fat, flour, and whatever type of liquid. So because I am doing a white gravy, I'm just going to use milk. But if you wanted to do a chicken gravy or a turkey gravy for something like Thanksgiving, you could totally do that. You would just need to swap the milk out for a different type of broth. I am using a flat spatula here. I find that it really helps smash those flour bits and prevent a lumpy gravy. But once I get all of that flour really dissolved in the milk, I do go ahead and swap out for a silicone spoon. I do just wanna take a moment and talk about convenience for just a minute because I think as a society in whole, we have just gotten so used to having convenience type items. We just live in this very fast paced world this age and time and so convenience foods have become the normal. I don't love having processed convenient type foods but by making something like biscuits ahead of time something that you can just very easily pop into the freezer it's still going to give you the convenience but you have control over the ingredients. That that is key. So we do technically, I would call this a convenience item, but we made it, we know what's in it, and it's something that I'm not afraid to feed my family, and it's something that has ingredients that I know where they came from. Next up is lunch, and today we are going to do uh, taco bowls. 
this is something that, again, so easy, very much a staple in our house as well. It is something that we can put whatever we have on hand into it. So my favorite kitchen utensil, and you're going to see, I've used this before. If you watched my bean burrito video, you saw me use it. And that is the immersion blender. This thing is my, is a ride or die in my kitchen. I use it for so many things. I find that it fits perfectly in a wide mouth mason jar. So I don't have to dirty any more dishes. And again, as a household that cooks mostly from scratch, you can imagine that we have our fair share of dishes. So by using the immersion blender, I'm simply saving myself a dish and that's amazing. <laughs> So I did go ahead and add a can of diced tomatoes. I should have used those tomatoes sitting there on my table. I don't know what I was thinking, but I do have those can of tomatoes in our food storage and they do need to use, be used up. So I do go ahead and add a can of tomatoes and then I add some banana peppers because we weren't looking for a very spicy salsa. You could totally add jalapenos or another type of pepper if that's what you have. This recipe is a very loose recipe. You can make it however you want to make it. I do add a couple of cloves of garlic, the peppers, a bunch of onions, and the can of tomatoes, and then of course the seasonings. So my favorite seasonings are cumin, oregano, paprika, salt, pepper. I feel like I'm missing one. Hmm. Anyways, don't be afraid to taste your food. I think, especially when I first started, I didn't know how to season food and how much do you add if I'm not following your recipe. And the more that you cook, the more comfortable you'll be in the kitchen. So don't be afraid to taste your food you are going to know if you like it and you're not going to know if you like it unless you try it. So taste as you go. Don't be afraid to add more. Just add a little bit at a time. So once I have it where I am happy with it, I will just, I am just putting it in the kitchen so I can go ahead and start browning the meat. We are actually down to the last four packages of meat in our freezer. We do not use ground beef. In this house, we use ground venison. Thankfully, my husband is a hunter and is able to provide enough meat for us year round that we don't have to purchase ground beef at the store. You will see, this is not ground venison. This is actually ground chicken. We do tend to get some ground chicken every once in a while from Aldi. And I didn't want there to be any confusion about what kind of meat this is because you're going to see that it's chicken and that is clearly not venison. So I am going to use a taco seasoning that I made. This is a homemade taco seasoning. I do plan on doing a video on this at some point. I just am not needing it right now. Actually, I had already, already made it a little bit ago and I just don't need to make it for a little while. So Next time I plan on making some, I will be sure to share that with you. Again, cutting out the grocery store and making things ourselves and being in charge of the ingredients, that it's, it is, it's life changing and I love it. So I am just going to go ahead and brown this meat up. I'll add a little bit of that seasoning. And again, you'll see me add it a couple times because I just know what I like the meat to look like, but you'll learn, like I said, as you go and you learn as you cook, how much seasoning to add. We just don't follow a lot of recipes as far as this. Like when I'm just cooking and I'm just trying to make a meal, a lot of time I'm not following recipes. I'm just kind of cooking as I go and I enjoy that process very much. I did go ahead and start a pot of rice on that back burner. I was not feeling like making tortillas today. It was one of those days. And so 
I opted to do chocolate bowls instead. We do have quite a bit of rice in our food storage and we do need to be making sure that we're going through those things and rotating through our pantry. So that is another reason why I opted to do the rice instead of tortillas. We just need to work through some of that food. And that's just part of having a stocked pantry and having a bulk pantry and buying in bulk. That's great to have those things but if you aren't using those things, then it's kind of a waste of money and it's kind of a waste of time. So making sure that you're rotating through and using what you have, that's very important. If you don't like rice, then you should not buy rice. And that's also part of having a bulk pantry. Don't stock your pantry with things that you don't like. We don't always make three full home cooked meals in a day. A lot of times, especially for lunches, we will eat leftovers. Today we ended up cooking a full lunch and a full breakfast. And then you'll see at the very end, we just ended up eating leftover homemade pizza. And that's great because we are using what we have. <music> still here. Thank you for being here and thank you so much for watching. I would really love if you could give this video a thumbs up or consider subscribing and I will see you all Sunday for the next Sunday Kitchen Restock. Bye!